This is a review of the Leatherman Skeletal CX with the Damascus blade from uh, Texas Tool Crafters Inc. I got it on Amazon for $159.99. I thought that was a good deal because I was gonna, when I saw this Damascus blade, um, I kind of fell in love with it. I wanted it, I wanted it for my, um, my Leatherman Charge TTI. I want to get both blades and at 90, 95, I think 95 or 99 bucks a pop for each blade. Um, it's pretty expensive. So being that the Skeletal CX was 90 and this blade would have been another 95, you're looking at $200. And this whole thing uh, installed already was 159. I thought it was an outstanding deal and I jumped on it. I, as soon as I saw it on Amazon, I knew I had to have it. Um, but it doesn't look like, I mean, I, I just unboxed it about an hour ago and I've been playing around with it here in my office and, um, from what I can tell, it does not look like I'm going to be keeping this and, um, let's go over the reasons why it's, it's not, it's not really in, in, um, it's not a knock against the, the tool itself. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's. It's actually really wicked cool. I mean, this carbon fiber inlay with this Damascus, I mean, that looks, that looks pretty sick. But um, I think that's the only thing this has going for it. I mean, it, it's that cool factor. This, uh, this blade is actually pretty, pretty small. Um, I'm gonna do some size comparisons. Well, I might as well do it now. So, a little, a little backstory why I wanted to get the Skeletal CX in the first place. So I started off with just this Gerber dime, which I absolutely love. I know that um, I'm a big Leatherman fan and I was gonna get the Squirt PS4, but um, I really like beer and having this dedicated bottle opener is pretty, I mean, this should be the standard on everything. If Leatherman, makes a um well actually they do they make uh, the leatherman style ps with this with this um bottle opener i think ps i don't know i think it's a style um not really sure but i know that they make it but definitely not in this form factor if they make a squirt with a dedicated bottle opener i'm gonna buy it and um so i really like this but my main my main tool is this package opener uh, I'm not, I'm not one for bushcraft. I'm not a survivalist. I open up, I open up, um, boxes I get from Amazon and, uh, clamshell packages for, um, for my daughter. So this is really handy. The, um, so bottle opener is probably my main tool. Package opener is second. Third would be, ow. Third would be the pliers which are uh, pretty amazing. They're not strong. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't like um, cut nail heads with it or anything, but um, to pull off uh, those heavy duty staples off, off packages, uh, this, is really, this is really helpful. And then my fourth most used tool would be the flathead screwdriver. I use this as a, as a pry bar and uh, an overall screwdriver. Um, I barely use this Phillips. And then I guess the last thing that I, I really use is the scissors. So what I don't use is is the um, is a knife, even though I sharpened it. It's nice and sharp. Never use that because the package opener works. And then um, I don't really use. I, I did use this nail file on um, once to uh, to grind something down, but I wound up um, kind of sucked. I mean, it's pretty short. You can't really can't really do anything with it so I just grabbed my um, Leatherman charge for for that task so this Gerber dime it, it looks pretty sexy tactical <laughs> it's weird to have that at the same time but uh, yeah it, it's uh, sexy and tactical and this lives in the in my coin pocket on my jeans so it kind of disappears in there I took out the I took out the split ring because I had on my key ring before and it, uh, it jangled around too much. I didn't like it. So this just lives in my, in my fifth pocket. But um, 
So this was my, my introduction into multi-tools and I knew I needed something um, a little bigger for household for household stuff. So I went ahead and got the Leatherman Charge, the big boy, Leatherman Charge TTI. Um, love this thing. I, I wanted, um, I wanted, this is going to be my first um, family heirloom. So I'm going to hand this down to my daughter or my son. Uh, well, whenever I have a son, I only have a daughter right now. But um, yeah, if uh, when I when I go, this is going to go down um, to them. I'm probably going to engrave it with uh, our last name. So uh, yeah, I, I love this thing. Um, this is my third copy actually. Uh, went my the first my my first two copies that I got from REI. Um, this it was grinding against this liner lock, so it was making like a sound. Um, so the the liner lock was pretty much jutting out way too much, and uh, yeah, they go through two copies to get that. And um, I mean, this isn't perfect. The uh, well, the liner lock usually doesn't go down that far. It usually goes only so so far out like that. Um, let's see if it will work. Oh, now it's going full out. All right, never mind. Uh, a couple a couple times before it wasn't going out. The the only knock I have against this is that this serrated blade still has that grinding a little bit against that liner lock. See, see one this one juts out even more. So I tried to use a pry tool to kind of you know loosen this a little bit, but um, doesn't really do anything. I might I might hook this up. I might change this this blade out to a Damascus blade, just because um, when when this sits in the hand when you're really like grinding it like this, really got a hold on it, making the knuckles white. This juts out a lot. I mean, it kind of it kind of does away with the rounded handles. I mean, yeah, it's cool if you have this blade out, but um, when it's closed and you're using the other tools, this edge is uh, it's kind of annoying. It, it hurts. I mean, I don't have delicate hands, but uh, if I'm gonna use it to get real torque on something and this is closed, I'm gonna have to get gloves. So yeah, I love this thing so much. Uh, where is it? So I love the dime. This is my this is my EDC in my coin pocket of my jeans every day. This stays at home because I love this thing and it's way too big. I'm not a maintenance man. I go to an office where uh, I'm currently wearing Oxfords and a blazer, so this on my belt is ridiculous. So I wanted to get something in between and I have fallen in love with the with this, the Skeletal CX with the Damascus blade, and I was like, oh, you know what? That's perfect. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna take this out. No more jeans. This is gonna be home anyway. So I'm just gonna have this bad boy as um, as a show off, as a show off tool. Um, when you're at a barbecue or a picnic, people need, uh, people's, people have um, uh, beer bottles that need to be open. Just take this out, throw, them, throw it around. It's like, here, use this. Oh, how do I use it? Uh, oh, just use the carabiner. Like, oh wow, wait, what is this? Carbon fiber? Whoa, what's up with this blade? Is this carbon fiber? Nah, bro, that's Damascus. So, I wanted to get, I wanted to get it for that. Uh, kind of show and tell. I mean, and it's a collector's item, right? I mean, to me, it would be anyway. And to like knife fans, I don't know. I just got, I just got started into knives and multi tools, so. Yeah, I wanted to get that, and I, you know, it's one of a kind. Not everybody gets the CX to get the carbon fiber, and definitely not everybody gets a Damascus blade because, um, I mean, it's a tool, right? I mean, who cares about whether it's Damascus or not? But it looks, it looks pretty slick. But I don't think I'm gonna keep it because, yeah, it's $160. I mean, money really wasn't an issue in me buying this. Um, but if I do lose this. Um, or it gets taken away by some authority figure because uh, I don't know for whatever reason um, I forgot I forgot to take it out of my bag or something at an airport um, and I try mailing this thing it's it's not gonna get back to me um, 
So I'd be too scared to pretty much lose it. And I tried carrying it in my pocket. Um, I just didn't like it. The You see how this, this, this part and on sticks out of your pocket. So you put this in, in your pocket and pretty much from here on this way sticks out of your pocket. Which is a weird design. I mean, if you look at the Leatherman, the whole thing, your jeans goes up all the way to the edge. So this thing is all the way in your pocket. Even on your belt, even on your belt, it will probably go, I don't know, up to here. So you get like a tiny bit. But if it's on your belt, the whole thing's exposed anyway. But in the pocket, this thing just disappears. I kind of want to get a, a black pocket clip because this is way too shiny. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is for home use anyway, who cares? Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it, it sticks out of your pocket and then you got these like two shiny um, torque screws jutting out. So, I mean, there goes the tactical look and then you see this from the top. So, and then this from the side. Um, I don't know why they just didn't give this whole thing of the black oxide DLC coating. That would have been really cool just to black out everything and the, the carbon fiber and the Damascus would have been that I would have kept. I would have probably paid two hundred dollars for that. But um yeah. Uh yeah, I just don't see um I mean the wow factor of this uh it it doesn't outweigh the fact that this can just be hidden in my coin pocket and then this would have to be like yeah i can whip it out and and show it off but i'd have to carry it in my pocket as a on the pocket clip which i don't really like doing i mean i tried it for this uh it it, it kind of looked weird so i just wound up putting it on my belt so this i would have to dedicate it would have to be dedicated on you know in my in my jeans like hanging out and I just don't want to do that. And the fact that, uh, yeah, I'd just be scared to lose it. I mean, it's a, it's really cool. And I wouldn't, I mean, I, I would, I would rather, I would, um, I would rather not lose this than this. I mean, this I got for a hundred dollars because of, um, you know, a couple of discounts and dividends from REI. So this was a hundred, and then this was like sixteen bucks, and this this was one sixty. So these two combined were cheaper than this Skeletal CX. So um, yeah, the the wow factor just isn't there for me. Um, maybe if I hung out with like knife collectors that really like Damascus, um, it would be worth it, but. I don't know, even at that, I don't really care much for other people's opinions. So, uh, yeah, even though it, it's cool and all, um, it's only cool from this angle, by the way. Like this, it looks kind of just like any other tool. So, um, and then this is the part that you actually see first when you take it out of your pocket. So, I mean, if I want to, if, if I would keep the skeletal tool um, in the future, I would just get the regular version and uh, forget this whole carbon fiber business because I mean you're gonna use the tools anyway right um, and then this another feature is that this is really hard I guess when Texas tool crafters put it together they um, they really put a lot of uh, they really tightened that down so the, the ergonomics is cool and all but um really can't i i put the uh the flathead bits here because that's what i use most and um that was really digging into this part right here i mean yeah you can hold it like this so that it kind of goes past but yeah that flat bit there is not good um so you kind of just have to use the phillips head uh resting in there the whole time which um it's kind of a compromise but um, I really don't want a tool that I'd have to compromise uh, with. So, yeah, it's going to go back. I mean, had it for two hours. And um, I'm going to take it to the UPS store and send back. 
So yeah, that's my um, I guess that's my review of the Damascus bladed Leatherman Skeletal CX from uh, Texas Tool Crafters. It's wicked cool. I mean, if you're a collector, this is pretty slick. I mean, look at that. That is cool. I mean, if I'm going to a knife show, I'd probably put this on my belt. But then they'd only see this part. I actually no. If it was on my belt. They'd see this part, but still, I mean, that's only if you want to show up. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's my uh, that's my review. Skeletal Leatherman Skeletal CX with the Damascus blade. Really sharp, man. Great, great craftsmanship, but um, it's just not for me. All right, thanks, guys.